Hello friends. This video will demonstrate how we can enhance the attacks of the true triple katana. But before that we need to get to a triple katana. To get that we need three legendary swords that is Sadi, Wando and Shisu. We can get these swords from legendary sword dealer in second C. The legendary sword dealer only appears at a specific time at different locations. Legendary sword dealer does not sell the player all three swords at once. He only sells them separately. Keep hunting the legendary sword dealer until you acquire all three swords. I recently got all the swords. To obtain a true triple katana, we must have 300 mastery on these swords. So let's start getting mastery now. Starting with Fahida boss. We will start with Sadi sword. Buddha fruit is highly recommended for getting mastery on sword. You can get quest to earn some money. We will defeat some bosses to get mastery. Let's defeat Captain Elephant to get last mastery on Sadi. We got 300 mastery on Sadi. Let's take a quick look at the abilities of the Sadi sword. After getting mastery on Sadi, we will go with Wando sword. Starting with this elite pirate's urban. Urban is using rumble fruit skills. Meanwhile I got Halo Essence. We will complete mastery by defeating Raid Boss Soul Reaper in a haunted castle. Place Halo Essence here to spawn Soul Reaper. Go to his private cabin. There's a small chance to get a mythical sword Hallow Scythe. We got 300 mastery on Wando Sword too. Let's take a quick look at the skills of the Wando Sword. We can hold Z skill here. Now it's time to get mastery on last sword, that is Shisu. Starting with defeating Island Impress.
Now we require last mastery on Shisu. Let's get this by defeating Fujita boss. Let's take a quick look at the abilities of the Shisa Sword. We completed 300 mastery on Sadi, Wando and Shisu. Now we can purchase true triple katana. The mysterious man sells us a true triple katana located in the highest beanstalk green zone. Let's go there. This is the highest point in second C. Let's purchase true triple katana. This is a very expensive sword as we require 2 million money for a true triple katana. We can get two titles after equipping this sword. Don't waste money on buying fruits as we need a total of 8 million money to obtain true triple katana. Now we're going to obtain some mastery on true triple katana. Starting with Smoke Admiral. It's easy to kill a Smoke Admiral, and we can also earn more money. Let's get remaining mastery in 3rd C. We are at last mastery of true triple katana. Let's defeat this stone boss to get unlock all skills of true triple katana. Now it's time to see how our N1 attack can be improved, and how we can increase the damage. There are 6 different ways to do that. Let's start with normal M1 attacks. Now we are going to activate Aura and see how much extra damage we can get. As we know, we can increase our damage by using some accessories. First one is, Valkyrie Helm. The Valkyrie Helm grants the 15% more damage on sword attacks. The highest percentage of damage to sword attacks is achieved by this accessory. But this accessory is not recommended as it does not provide any speed, so we cannot dodge attacks from enemies. To avoid that we can use Hunter Cape. The Hunter Cape only adds 10% more damage, but it also adds 80% more speed, so we are using Hunter Cape now. We can get Hunter Cape by defeating elite NPCs, 
Hunter Cave comes in three different colors, but we are using the red one for us. Let's see how it goes. Now it's time get upgrade 1 for our true triple katana. For that we require these materials across all seas. Here is blacksmith. Let's upgrade our sword. By getting upgrade 1, we can do 13% extra damage. Now we have aura plus accessory plus upgrade 1. Now let's see how much damage we can do. Let's move to our next upgrade. As we know we can enchant our sword by using various types of scrolls. We can craft scrolls by getting materials by doing sea events. Additionally we can also buy scrolls from shop. I already crafted some scrolls. So let's enchant our sword and see what we can get from scrolls. Here is the dragon talon sage NPC who will enchant our sword. This NPC placed a tiki outpost 3rd C. First we will try our luck by using some common scrolls. We have very less chance to get blessings by using common scrolls. Let's use Legendary Scroll now. We have 3% chance of blessings. Let's see what we get. We didn't get blessings but got 7 different advantages. Including 3% extra damage and 15% extra money. We can get advantages by using higher scrolls. Let's explore the benefits of enchanting our true triple katana. Now we're using aura plus accessory plus upgrade 1 plus enchantment. Now we will proceed with the final method to increase the damage. This method is activating your awakening. When we activated our race awakening that is V4, we can get some extra points in our stats. Now we will observe our damage with aura plus accessory plus upgrade 1 plus enchantment plus race V4. We get 3590 damage. Remember this is just M1 attacks. We can deal more damage to NPC using Z and X skill. We can use this process to all swords and guns in the game. Also, our damage will increase with our mastery on the sword. We can get max 600 mastery in the game for all swords and guns. That's it from the video. If I missed anything, don't hesitate to leave a comment. If you like the video please like and share with your friends. Show you support by subscribing my channel.